I'm Neha Parashar, working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. In last video, we saw the regulatory procedures for combination product in EU and how the notify bodies provide their opinion. In today's video, we will see how to select the notify bodies and what are the points that we should consider while selecting these notify body. Notify bodies are the independent third parties, right? So it's in your hand which notify body you want to choose for your product, for your product's assessment, right? If you don't do proper search and don't spend enough time on the selection process, then this can have a significant impact on your product approval timelines. So what are the main points that you should consider to avoid such situation? We'll see that in today's video. Let's start. The first point is relationship with notify body. It's important to have a good relationship with notify body because having a good relationship with your notify body can help you navigate the regulatory procedure more smoothly. When you have a positive and collaborative relationship with your notify body, it can lead to a better communication and a clear understanding of what is expected from you. If you have already worked with same notify body in past and you have a good relationship with them, you can better understand their requirements and expectations and you can then adjust your product development and strategy accordingly. This can help you avoid costly rejections and resubmissions and ultimately can save your time and money at the same time, right? In the end, it can help you avoid potential roadblocks and delays in the certification process. On the other hand, if you're new to them, there can be some roadblocks as we are new to them. So they don't know us and without having any prior experience, you have to first build that trust and communication to establish your company as a trusted and reliable manufacturer, right? That's the reason most of the companies, if they have worked with same notify body in past and if they have a good communication with them, they will prefer to work with the same notify body to avoid such issues. Then the second point is expertise of notify body. Body. It's important for us to know that not all notify bodies are authorized to assess all kind of medical devices. So if you have a medical device which falls into category 3, that means the high risk of device. But if that notify body is only authorized to assess the class 2 devices, then you can't select them as you have to choose the notify body which is authorized to do the assessment for your kind of products, right? So this was about the expertise of notify body. The third point is waiting time. Why is it important? This is very important because there can be a situation where notify bodies may not have slots or resources for you as they are very much busy with other companies for their assessment. Currently, notify bodies have long waiting queue due to the new medical device regulation. The new MDR has significantly increased the workload of notify bodies in EU because the new MDR introduces some stringent requirements, strings and control measures which have increased the complexity and the time required required for the conformity assessment. Secondly, the number of notify bodies that are designed under the new MDR has decreased from the previous medical device directive. Really? Yes, the MDD had around 80 notify bodies, but now under the MDR, the number of notify bodies is currently very less. As the MDR requirements for medical device have become more stringent and notify bodies has to be redesignated under this new regulation. So these are a few factors which has led to a significant backlogs in the notify bodies workload. That's why it's very important for us to consider this waiting time during the selection process. It, it will affect our approval timeline. Fourth point is proposed timelines. Considering both standard and accelerated, we discussed about this standard and accelerated in past videos. So when you coordinate with notify bodies during quotation and submit your application, they let you know the timeline for standard or accelerated assessment. When they agree to do accelerated assessment, that means they are squeezing their timelines by dedicating their particular resource for you for more time. So they should have the necessary expertise, resources and capacity in this case to conduct an accelerated assessment of your medical devices. Even if you are ready to pay but they do not have resources, they will not do it, right? It is that simple it is. That's why we need to be critical about these proposed timelines during our selection process. Fifth point is requirements or preferences on document structures and template. Notify bodies have their own preferred structure and template for the documents. 
and the reason is because each notify body works according to their own procedures and requirement which can vary from one notify body to another therefore different notify bodies can have different preferences or requirement for the structure and format of the documents also each notify body has its own interpretation of mdr requirements and guidelines and how they should be applied to this conformity assessment procedure another reason is that notify body may have a different areas of expertise or focus on different type of medical devices this can influence the specific information and documentation they require during the conformity assessment process for example a notify body that specializes in cardiovascular devices may require more detailed information on the design and performance of a cardiac implant than a notify body that focus on the orthopedic devices therefore it's essential for manufacturer to understand the specific requirement and expectations of the notify bodies with whom they are working to ensure that documentation meets the necessary standard and facilitates the assessment process more smoothly sixth point is fees for standard and accelerated as you know by now that notify body gives you the quotation right so different notify body quote you differently the one reason for this difference in fees is that the cost structure of each notify body the cost of running a notify body can vary depending on the factors such as the size of the organization or the expertise of their staff and the location of its offices notify bodies that operate in countries with higher living cost or higher salaries for technical expert may need to charge higher fees to cover their expenses right additionally the complexity of the medical devices being assessed also affect the fees charged by the notify bodies high risk medical device such as implantable device or device with novel technology require more rigorous and in depth assessment right which can be more time consuming and costly for the notify body therefore notify bodies may charge higher fees for the assessment of such devices furthermore the fees charged by notify body may also reflect their perceived reputation and expertise in the industry companies can be willing to pay more for the service of a notify body with a proven track record of providing high quality assessment and certifications right so that's the key so we need to consider this factor also during the notify body selection seventh point is strictness about the review timeline some notify bodies may be very strict with well their review timeline to ensure that they provide a reliable and consistent service to the manufacturers these notify bodies may have more streamlined and efficient processes in place for review of medical devices which can result in the faster turnaround time for them so when they send you the questions they are much stricter with the response timeline i know this can be stressful for you also sometimes but in the end this is good for you because this gives you assurance that they will complete their review as per the timelines that they have come it during the application and they will not review it right so this gives you more confidence on the other hand some notify bodies are much more flexible this gives you more flexibility but this can also lead to delays in your assessment timeline so basically you need to consider this factor as it depends how much urgently you need your assessment to be completed in line with your company's timelines and strategy if you want the faster approval you can't take the risk of delaying the timelines right so this was all about what all do we need to consider while we are selecting our notify body in eu but before we end this video do you know what are the gmp requirements for us and eu for such combination products if you know the answer then let me know in the comment section if not then don't worry we'll see that in the next upcoming videos till then let's stay tuned